Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to fix the error PHP installation could not be found or also PHP not found. So this error may occur when you try to create a new PHP file. For example, let's go to file, then open folder. Now let's create a folder on the desktop that I will call web. Now when I create a new file that I will call welcome.php, I obtain this error. So this error means that PHP installation could not be found. To fix it, it is necessary to add PHP to the system environment variables. So you have to go to the folder where you installed PHP. So if you are using exam, you have to open exam. Then you have to open PHP. Then you have to copy this path and to add it to the system environment variables. But if you are using WAMP, you have to go to the folder where WAMP is installed, which is this folder. Then you have to open the bin folder, then PHP. Then you have to select the version that you want to add to the system environment variables, let's say this version. Now you have to copy this path and to add it to the system environment variables. But if you installed PHP stand alone, then you have to go to the folder where PHP is installed. In my case, it is in this folder. So let's open it, then this folder, and I have to copy this path. So let's copy it. Now let's close this folder. Let's go to system, then advanced system settings. Then in this window, I have to click on environment variables. Then I have to find the path variable, which is this one, and I have to edit it. So at the beginning of this field, I will paste the path that I have copied to provide it with the highest priority. Also, I will add a semicolon as the separator between the different paths. Now let's click on OK. OK. OK again. And let's close this window. Now I need to restart Visual Studio Code. So let's close it. And let's open it again. Now, if I close this PHP file and open it again, I don't have the error anymore. Also, if I create a new PHP file, let's say test.php, the file is created and I don't have any error. Finally, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the channel.